Hi there! In today's video, we'll talk about how to assign tickets to your team. Zendesk's ticketing interface simplifies delegating tickets to the right agents. This enables faster responses to customers, and it ensures clear accountability for who will handle each request. Some people like to review incoming tickets first and then assign manually based on the ticket contents. Another option is to automate assignment when possible. In this video, we'll show you how to do both. This is the support home, your central hub for viewing and managing all your tickets. Let's begin by clicking the views icon. You can organize your tickets into different views that will show up here. In this example, we'll use the view called unassigned tickets to see new tickets that need to be assigned. In this example, I'll use a test ticket I sent to myself earlier. Feel free to follow along using any ticket you have in your accounts on assigned tickets view. Now let's click into this ticket. To assign this ticket to someone on your team, simply click the drop down under assignee. Then select the person you want to handle this request. You also have the option to choose a group of agents if you've set up groups. Or you can click take it to assign it to yourself. To save your changes, click the submit as open button. The open status means that it has been assigned to an agent, but the agent hasn't yet responded. Now, when that agent logs into Zendesk, they will see the ticket in the view titled Your Unsolved Tickets. This view helps each agent quickly focus on only the tickets that are assigned to them. To make it easier to manually triage tickets, you can create custom views. For example, Let's say you want to prioritize review of incoming messaging tickets because those probably expect a faster response time. Navigate to the Admin Center, the icon with four squares located on the top right corner. You can use the search bar to type views and quickly locate the section. Click Add View and give it a name. In this example, we'll create a view for unassigned tickets that originated from messaging. Under Who has access, choose who can see this view. We'll select any agent for this example. Now we'll set the conditions to include the right tickets in this view. As mentioned before, the channel we'll use for this example must be messaging. The status category must be less than solved since we want to include tickets that haven't been closed yet. And since we're creating a view for unassigned tickets, we'll add an assignee condition where it is set to blank. Now, you can specify how the view is presented. You can choose which columns you want to see. You can group tickets by various attributes. And you can specify what order they are sorted. Once saved, your new view will appear in the View section and display unassigned tickets from messaging channels. Now, I'll show you how to automatically assign tickets based on keywords used by the requester. This means that if the customer writes specific words you previously defined, the ticket will be assigned to the agent you prefer to service that type of inquiry. To achieve this goal, we will use a trigger. Triggers allow you to activate specific actions when the conditions you specify are met. For example, if a customer creates a ticket about a billing issue, then assign the ticket to the billing specialist. Let's see how to create a trigger. Navigate to the Admin Center and go to Objects and Rules. Then select Triggers under Business Rules. Click Create Trigger. Give it a name and a description. Select the Assignee category since this trigger is related to auto-assigning tickets. Now, you must create a condition. In this example, if a ticket includes any of the indicated words, a trigger will be activated. You could use different conditions based on how you want tickets to be assigned. The operator field helps you define when it should fire the trigger. In this case, the ticket should include at least one of the words I'll indicate in order to fire the trigger. Now I'll write the words that will activate the trigger if a user writes any of them in the ticket. The next step is to define what will happen when the condition is met. This is called an action. 
you can assign it to an individual agent or a group of agents. In this case, I will use the assignee option and choose the agent I want to assign this specific type of ticket to. Click Create Trigger to save it. Now anytime a customer reaches out to ask about refund policies, the ticket will be automatically assigned to the agent I indicated. And that's a wrap on the different ways to assign tickets in Zendesk. Assigning tickets efficiently ensures that no requests fall through the cracks. With Zendesk, it's easy to divide and conquer incoming requests. Now it's your turn. Take what you've learned and explore what works best for your team. Whether it's manual, automatic, or somewhere in between, the right setup can make a big difference. Thanks for watching. Thank you.